Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at VLC Media Player. I say quick because it's a pretty cool program. It's open source. It means it's free and the code's available. But the cool thing about this is it'll take care of your music, your videos, streaming, everything you want in one program. I found it and fell in love with it when Windows 10 took their media player out and I needed something else to use and here we were with VLC. My biggest thing was playing videos. So most of what you need to do as far as just playback is either drag and drop or come to media. So you can, for example, open a disc, open a network stream, a capture device, but more importantly for most of us is opening a disc, a folder, files, or multiple files, for example, music. So in this case, I have my yoga DVD in here. I really need to get back to doing my yoga, by the way, but just hit play. As you saw, there's a couple options there. I don't want to complicate this too much. This is just more of an overall. Let me show you how it works. So as you can see, this is what you'll get in the case of a DVD. You'll have your back, forward, pause, stretch it out to full screen, and a few other settings. You can see here a simple mouse over tells you what everything does. So it's really, the DVD menu here is really nice too. It's, it's not complicated. You can jack your volume from 25% to 125% as well. Now let's take a look at the equalizer. So if you want to play around with your equalizer, you don't like the sound, just enable it and slide whatever you want. I am not an audiophile, so I'm not going to pretend to sit here and uh, act like I know everything about this, but most of us know bass, lows, highs, treble, mid-range in the middle. So easy enough to play around with. And again, I don't even know what two pass is, so I'm not going to pretend. And the compressor, as you can see, if you were under the video, you could adjust the image, sharpen it up. Kind of nice if you want to brighten it up. you got a, a dark DVD. Pretty handy. But again, most of this stuff, again, most of this stuff. If I want to keep this video under five minutes, you just open the DVD and off you go. So now that we're done with that, let's, whoops, let's not close the program in the middle of the video. That'd be nice. Come on back. Thank you. So music, you can create playlists and do quite a bit with that as well. So once again, open a file, open multiple files, open a folder. Now, the neat thing about opening a folder is it'll play everything in that folder. So if I want to open up this folder, I just select it and we're off to the races. It's now going to play everything. So we can jump forward. We can slide to get somewhere else. We can pause. We can play with the equalizer, which we just saw you earlier. Very similar. So you have that familiarity when you go around. Now, again, you can play around in all of this stuff here the audio, video settings, your subtitles. It, it does pretty well with privacy. It doesn't go back and forth out on the internet for no reason, but if you wanted to get subtitles or you wanted to get song information, for example, you would basically, you know, allow it to send data back and forth. So no, no real privacy concerns here, which is kind of cool. So I like this album, so let's open that up and goof around a little bit. So. Now we've got the songs open. We can do pretty much everything we showed you before, nothing too complicated. And we can create a playlist. So we don't have anything set here, but you can go through your songs and quite simply add everything to your playlist. And when you're done, save your playlist to a file. So that's kind of neat as well, so that you have it for your media player. And you can do, where is that? I looked at this before, full screen controls, tools. So we can get media information, anything that's missing, you can search for or replace it. Metadata, codecs, statistics, as it's playing, all the codecs are built into this as well. So there's no goofing around with that stuff. Some people like Media Player Classic, Media Player Classic Black Edition a little bit more, but I like this for the simplicity and the fact that it does have plugins. You can customize it all you want. You have all your codec info. Um, and again, once if I just want to play, I just play. If I want to do a DVD and I do quite a bit of streaming over with Chromecast, it works pretty easy. And really, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I don't know if there's much else to show you here. Probably not. It's pretty simple to use. So once again, this big thing with this, at least for me personally, is that you need something for Windows 10. And when I went out and Googled, it came out with a lot of stuff that was... Eh, mediocre and then of course there's the push to the windows store where almost all of them 
you have to pay for it. I just don't use mine enough to, to pay, you know, five, 10, 20, $30 for a media player. And, you know, most of us old school geeks are used to having this built into Windows. So it's can be a little bit of a shock. All of a sudden you got this, you know, the latest and greatest Windows 10 and you can't play your music. And we're over five minutes. But as I said, we could go on for a little bit, but I won't pretend to be a uh, audio file or video nerd. I just, uh, I think if this is something you're looking for, just to play your music and play your videos, uh, maybe stream YouTube. There's some minor conversion tools in here as well. It's very cool. It will fill your needs. So check it out. Download link as always right below the description. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.